Even as we progressively step up our measures, I think there are some parts, which I'm sure you have heard from Min Gan and Min Lawrence, there are some parts of our life that we are doing our best to safeguard. Yeah. What are these? Able to go to school, able to go to work, and from time to time, able to go out, to exercise, to walk in the park, to have a meal, to eat, to meet with some friends, small group, still possible. So all these are liberties we took for granted day to day, but I think now we are safeguarding this, which is why I think when PM addressed the nation, he said there shall be no lockdown. I think we will always try to safeguard this, so there is also continue to be some sense of normalcy, even as we face this crisis. Now, that's why we try, which is why we treat the closure of school with such seriousness, and we not do it lightly. You know? um, and there are reasons why we do so, because it majorly disrupts people's lives, yeah, majorly. Uh, many of us are parents too. You know that when your kid don't go to school, your, your life is upset. Work and school go hand in hand. Once you close school, work cannot carry on. And if you are a frontline worker now, you're a contact tracer, you're a healthcare worker, I think you weaken other parts of the system as well. So I think it's very important from preschool all the way to school, uh, secondary, JC and so on, we have to have the confidence of parents, of families, of Singaporeans, so that we can keep it going and they can go to work with peace of mind, especially if they are frontline healthcare workers. Um, but in line with the heightened uh, social distancing measures that came into effect 2359 last night, I think the MOE education system also need to heighten a little bit, yeah, or proportionately, commensurately. And so what we are introducing, which you have been briefed on, is we are putting in place one day of home-based learning every week. Yeah? We, that, so that will be primary school will be on Wednesday, secondary school Thursday, JC Friday. Yeah? So that, that's all. I think we decided on such a formula because first it's very simple. Uh, everyone can understand three days, primary, secondary, JC. Second is, um, it's scalable. And so if we need uh, to increase it, we can yeah, as an option. So we start with one day. If in time to come, we think we need to disperse students a bit more, make everybody feel safer, which I've been getting feedback. Certain uh, schools during dismissal, it can be quite crowded. If we need to disperse it further, we can increase to two days. Yeah. Also help out with public transport crowd. Uh, and, and therefore, it's quite scalable. Thirdly, I think <clears throat> the great benefit of that is that it gives us uh, a fairly safe base to start trying this out. Yeah? I do expect teething issues, especially in, at homes. Uh, I really seek the understanding of parents that we need to do this. And parents have been very understanding, very accommodative. But now I, I seek your further understanding that one day a week, your child will be at home doing study. And so I know it can affect uh, parents' work. It, it will, in fact. Uh, but we are starting Wednesday. So I hope work with employers. Employers, please be as understanding as possible and support the parents. Do it one day a week.